Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we are going to talk about training intermediate and advanced throwers with some advanced to intermediate clean techniques. So, one of the first things we're showing you here is one of our advanced high school throwers, and we are trying to get him to work on his full range of motion. He's typically done power snatches, and there's been some deficiencies in his training in terms of like hamstring strength and posterior chain we've made great gains on that so we're working full range of motion and full range of motion for your cleans is definitely something i think is highly beneficial for throwers as it's really teaching that double eccentric load now one of the other things that we're doing with our advanced guy is we're teaching him how to use uh, and do his cleans with bands right now the bands are going to help accelerate the reaction and he's going to be squeezing and pulling harder than he normally would because the resistance is increasing. Now, we're gonna go with our advanced athlete. Now, Jason's a 65 plus meter discus thrower and he's actually got pretty good clean technique. So like anything else, we start out, he warms up with some power cleans and he'll usually work in some front squats and some different things. So he's gonna get that full range of motion prepared and we're gonna do a pull off of a small block, which in this case we're using a weight plate and we're gonna use a resistance band. So we're gonna show you a couple of different workouts that he does on different days and how his technique was improving. And so you're gonna notice one of the key things we talked about in our previous video for basics was setting up right. And you're gonna notice Jason has a very consistent setup and he's got his lifting shoes and you're going to notice he pulls himself into position keeps that bar nice and close and that's going to enable him to quickly accelerate and get under the bar the band is going to force that reaction time that's why it's a really cool thing and it's just kind of a way to not load up the bar and constantly have that heavy load change the weight up and then vary the speed and that's what one of the reasons of the accommodating resistance of band training so we've been incorporating a lot more we've having great results with it but you'll see here jason gets a lot of benefit okay so now as the weight gets heavier this is going to start to expose some of the weaknesses in his movement and jason would tend to be wind up getting a little bit forward and that's one of the reasons why getting under the bar is going to be a little bit more difficult because he can't get the bar to travel high enough up and get under it fast enough here he kind of dropped a little bit more he was trying to do a little bit too much of a like a higher catch so we had him obviously drop under the weight and again you're going to notice uh, we also increased the band tension, which made it a little trickier, and that's going to, again, force him to move faster. So right here, you're going to notice on that miss, he was just, everything was a little too far forward. And this is what's funny about the cleans. Just changing the balance point a little bit makes a massive difference in your ability to engage the hips. So again, we're going to look here, and we're going to see three different weights that Jason's using. And again, we're keeping one band on, so we, we're going to limit the band tension. So as the weight now kind of comes up and then you start to see again another miss, you're going to see how he kind of moved again. Everything gets a little too forward and he loses that upper back position and that's something that's really important so you can add accessories into your training. Now last thing we're going to do is kind of just talk about as both athletes go along what causes the miss. So you're going to notice that our younger athlete he tends to get a little bit further forward and this is what's really important to make sure you're setting up right. You're going to notice that Jason gets a little bit tighter, the bar's a little closer, Mason gets the hips are up a little bit, everything's a little far forward. That's why he catches the bar with the elbows lower than Jason does and those are those key details that you want to be working on because remember Olympic lifting is a sport all in its own and if you would like to learn more about how to structure a strength training program be sure to click the link in the description or in the bio to learn more about strength training for throwers and hopefully you enjoyed today's video be sure to comment hit that like button subscribe and we will see you on the next video